Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel and if it's your first time here you are so so welcome. Guess what guys, we are cooking the most delicious dry okra today and uh, I'm going to be adding some egusi, some boma which is huckleberry and trust me this recipe is really really amazing and you all are going to enjoy it and I'll be serving this with of course akume and yeah it's so delicious you guys come with me let's cook dry okra and akume from start to finish trust me you are going to enjoy the entire process please make sure you like you comment you share and you subscribe because it really really helps the channel yeah let's cook guys so we are going to start by making fire today I'm using charcoal just like this I'm going to light my charcoal And now, let's proceed with the cleaning of our ginger and garlic. So when I got this egusi from the market, it was very dirty, so I'm going to wash it before frying. Time to fry our egusi. You know, when you fry egusi, there is this flavor that is added to it, which makes it really, really delicious. Yeah. Just imagine fried granite. It's the same thing that happens to the egusi when you fry it. Take more time to fry them. Now I'm going to add our ginger and garlic. I'm cutting in some onion. <laughs> So this is the fish we are using for this recipe. We are using um, smoked fish and of course dried fish. And I'm going to debone the fish, you know, take out the heads and everything. And uh, we are going to proceed with the making of our okra broth. <laughs> Now you have to carefully take out the stomachs, take out the head. It's time to grind our egusi. I just like how sharp this stone is. We are starting by washing our fish and adding into a pot of water. Now we have to cook this a little and I'm going to add in some red pepper as well, some ginger and garlic. This is like the base of our dry okra. We have to add in some red oil. We are adding in some maggi and salt as well. 
yeah, I will let this simmer for um, at least 20 minutes until the fish is well cooked. Yeah. So this is the dry okra we are using and to get the best out of this dry okra we are going to soak this for about 10 minutes with some limestone while the broth is cooking. We are going to uh, soak this. I want the egusi to properly cook because I don't really like the smell. Yeah, so that's why I'm going to leave it here to cook for about 20 more minutes while we soak our okra. Yeah. So this is our okra right here. Can you guys see how green? You know when you add in the limestone, it becomes even greener. So we are going to soak this. Just add in some water like this. I think it's a lot. I had to cook like half, but I added all. Anyways, I can store it in the fridge. Can you see how green this is? I'm loving this. Can you all see this? I'm going to add in more water. I think it's quite thick. Coupled with the fact that I'm preparing it with egusi as well. So I'm adding in some huckleberry. Yeah. Right now, I think our broth is ready and I'm going to add in the dry okra. Yeah. Can you all see this goodness? Wow, it's looking so good. We are going to add this in. We have green pepper as well, you guys. And some onion. So after cooking our okra for 10 more minutes, this is what it's looking like. It's ready. So it's time to finally make our akume. Our pot is ready. And I'm going to add in some water into the pot. I'm not making a lot though. Just making a little portion to eat right now with you guys. Yeah. So after heating up the water, we are going to add in our corn flour. But I'm going to make a paste. I'll quickly make a paste first because I don't want any lumps in my akume. Hello. because the water is very hot if you don't it's going to create a lot of lumps in it now that our paste is boiling i think it's time to add in the corn flour and make our akume yeah
Right now, I will say our akuna is ready. We are going to scoop it out. So our food is ready and I'm going to give it a try. It's been a while I ate dry okra so I've been craving this a lot. Yeah. You guys, you all are invited to come get, take a bite with me. Mmm. So delicious. I would say it's perfect. The smell of the dry fish is just amazing. Check this out. I'll give it a try as well. Mmm. This is so good. This is so good. I love it. And to spice this up, you can go ahead and press the pepper. And you will get the flavor like it really stands out. Mm. This is really good guys. It's delicious. Let me know if you go ahead and try my dry okra and akume. Mm. And we have the smoked fish right here. It's quite hot. Can you all see this? This is the life. <laughs> oh my goodness, the food is so good. So, in Togo, an average person eats akume at least once a day. It's becoming like a, tra a tradition. Before I came to Togo, I didn't eat akume that much, but now, hey! You guys can tell I'm eating a lot of akume from my cheeks. <laughs> mm. This is really good. Akuma is really the best. Yeah. So, we've come to the end of the video. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure you like, you comment, you share, and you subscribe because it really, really helps the channel. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate you all for the support. Yeah, thank you guys. And until next time, bye.